The final events to be contested on the first day of the Ibadan auditions are the boys and girls 400 meters. The quarter mile, as the one lap event is famously called, has brought together some of the most promising runners in Western Nigeria. I really started doing athletics when I was in 400 level in England, when I entered you know, So I ran in that competition around 1.5 ton bed. I was not in the finals, I only ran the heat. The other competition that I went to is Lagos Festival in 2012. I ran 800 meters. I was in the final. I placed fourth in the final. So after that, I realized that Nigerian doesn't take 800 runners out. They don't take them to travel. The Nigeria believe in sprints. Nanye Lugo, Ude Bude Osakwe is my name. I graduated from the prestigious Obafemi Awolowo University. I started athletics as far back as primary five when I was nine years old. Thereafter, I attended Federal Government College, Odobolu, and I didn't start running for FGC Odobolu until I was in my SS1. My name is Shawalani Emmanuel. I'm from Ikitu State. I attend the University of Ibadan. I'm studying human kinetics and health education. I represent the school um, in 100 and 200, but I just took that one as pleasure, you understand, just for fun. But my major is, is 400. I'm the fastest in 100 meter and 200, 400 meter in UI. But I'm into music. I, I play the harmonica just like the bunch. I go to shows. I'm not going to bring my harmonica because I have a principle for myself. Anytime I know I'm going for a particular event, I make sure that I face my business in that. So, I mean, car now is suspended for now. Bukola Abodunri, who won her 200 meters heat earlier, also claimed victory in heat one of the girls' 400 meters. I was the second fastest in my uh, university. I have one of my friend that used to beat me anyway, and she's right here. That's what we said to me. That friend is none other than Toby Loba Ashamu who won silver for Nigeria at the 2015 Africa Junior Championships in Ethiopia. My name is Ashamu Esther Uluwatudloban. I study at Lee City University of Ibadan. I'm from Ogumosho. I study sport and recreation management. I got into Lee City through scholarship. I used to go for, um, for competition for our school. So that's where I, how I got the admission. In West African University Games, I did 800 and 1005. In 800 meters, I won silver. In 1005 bronze. At the African Junior Championship in Ethiopia, I won silver medal in 400 meters and 4x4. We won gold. SS3 student Feishara Edun will be hoping to upset the odds in the 400 meters against older and more experienced athletes. My name is Edun Feishara Oluwatose. I'm an SS3 now. My school is Ijai Jokoro Senior High School. I started athletics the year 2012. When I heard about the, only, uh, the festival, they did at test Lim. So I was, I was like, I can do it. I give myself courage. Even though you are coming last, believe you can do it. With the 100, 200, and 400 meter heats all wrapped up on day one of the Ibadan auditions. It's time for the athletes to return to their University of Ibadan hotel for dinner and a good night's rest. The athletes arrived at the sports center early on day two and did not have to wait long to find out the identities of top sprinters celebrity coaches. Coach Deji Aliu brought in two of his fellow Olympians from Europe to assist him in selecting and mentoring the best sprinters on display. Olympic silver medalists Francis Obikwelu and Glory Alozier have flown in directly from their bases in Portugal and Spain respectively to join Aliu on top sprinters panel of judges. But first, it's time for training with the Ibadan auditionees. So what I do, I take this hand, then I put this, then I stretch. Then I'm gonna feed the coin, I'm gonna feed this muscle, I'm gonna feed this muscle. Watch it. You know, sometimes you feel tired. If you, if you look at me, I'm very tired on this side. But this one is more free. So this is what makes us more fast. Here, yeah. feed this, pull, and then move this way. Stretching this muscle. 
Now it's time for the finals of each event in Ibadan. First up are the B finals in the boys and girls 100 meters. For the athletes who just missed out on the A finals, David Charles won the boys B final, while policeman Paulinos Isa finished fourth. Omolayo Omoshola, who was third at the Lagos auditions, won the girls B final. I feel great, but even though I didn't put a lot of energy because I, maybe I had a little fatigue or something, but well, I'm okay with myself. I had a lot of fun being away from home. I like it. I'll surely improve to be in the A finals next time. Now it's time for the main events, the A finals. In the girls' 100 meters, Ruth Usoro and Moyo Badijo recorded the joint fastest time of 12.4 seconds in winning their heats. But the vastly more experienced Deborah Odeyemi has a personal best of 11.45 seconds set at the 2014 national trials. She is also in the final after winning her heat at Akanta in 12.6 seconds. Only one of them can be crowned Sprint Queen in Ibadan. I was just thinking about winning the race, being among the first three. Running the 100 meter, we have like four faces. So the last face, very, very important, which I never had. But when I, when I was spoken to yesterday, my coach gave me the logic about it, and so I made use of it. I still feel great, and I don't feel bad at all, to just to improve on my finishing. I don't really know, but I think what, what happened is inside of me. So I, I need to go and talk to myself and know just what happened in that all. I actually didn't regret because I didn't work for it. The result I got, I expected and I didn't also expect, but there was nothing I could do about it. For the girls 200 meters, Bukola Abodoni was the fastest in the heats with 25.7 seconds, but she has pulled out of the final to concentrate on the 400 meters final. This leaves the door open for the next three fastest finishes from the heats. Moyo Badejo who could complete the sprint double, Mujisola Yahya and the barefooted Barakat Kazim. Onengi Ikoko completely dominated the boys 100 meters at the Lagos auditions and ran 10.6 seconds on day one in Ibadan, the fastest time recorded in all the heats so far. But two athletes recorded 10.7 seconds and the other seven finalists all recorded 10.8 seconds in their heats. Who will become the sprint king of the Ibadan auditions? When I got to the finishing line, I saw myself. I was only one in front, so I knew automatically I was. I wasn't bothered about the many people. Actually, I started late. Before 40 meters, I was, I was, I was already in front, so I knew I yes. From there, I didn't know I won the race. So. I knew what I placed, but there was kind of, it was kind of controversial. I have my seniors here. I started running last year, so I was like, I was just putting my best, run my race, and let me see what I'll place. I wasn't disappointed because some other athletes here, their time was more better than mine. In a blanket photo finish that took the officials several minutes of reviewing the action replay to separate the sprinters, Aderemi Adeyemi was eventually awarded third place also in 10.7 seconds. Onengi could only finish eighth out of the 10 finalists in the 100 meters. Can he redeem himself in the 200? He was second in his heat with 22.2 seconds. But Emmanuel Aruolo and Peter Edwin share the joint fastest time of 21.8 seconds in all the heats. Mm -hmm. 
last but certainly not the least are the boys and girls 400 meters. I don't expect it. I tell it to myself, no, it can never be. They were, they were a lady like me. They were not an animal. I ran the second heat yesterday. I came out second. Today, in the finals, I came third. I wouldn't say that I'm happy because looking at the time, I didn't run a good time. But I'm very sure that with this kind of superb program, I will be jogging a 47 with time, considering the that I am well, that I'll be trained by the coaches like um, Deji Aliu, Francis Obikwelu, and Gloria Lozi. I will jog a 47. I took second actually. I was betting more. I don't like a kind of situation someone comes to my track and come over here to beat me. I've been training here for the past four years, and why should I be defeated in my track? It's just, just somehow. At the awards ceremony, the podium place finishers in each race were awarded top sprinter t-shirts and running vests. But the suspense was only beginning. Who would the top sprinter coaches choose in their top 50 in Ibadan? Only those selected in the top 50 would have a chance to be selected for boot camp later in the year. Who powered through the drive phase to snatch a place in Ibadan's top 50? And who ran out of gas on the home straight and will be heading straight home? Find out next time on Top Sprinter Genesis.